Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Taurus for the week of April 4th through the 10th of 2023. And I would also like to give a very special thank you to those of you who have subscribed to my channel as well as given it a thumbs up and left comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. And there you go. You're starting out, standing your ground, making sure that, you know, nobody gets to rain on your parade. So that's, you know, you've gone the gauntlet, you've stood your ground, you're a hard worker. You've made a lot of decisions. You're from the school of hard knocks here. You know, it feels like you're having to have a discussion with somebody over your choices. But you're standing what your decisions are. You've already made your choices and you're not feeling like you owe them any explanations. And the Four of Pentacles. So you've, you know, built yourself a good solid foundation here. You know, good friends, good life. Things are starting to go the way you want them to. You know, your, your health is returning. You know, you're just feeling more optimistic this week than you have for a while. Maybe you're even rewarding yourself with a few things in your life, little luxuries that, you know, you haven't allowed yourself for a while. And the Three of Pentacles. So a page raise is in the air for some of you. If you're working, maybe this is a new opportunity to move up the ladder. You know, get better pay for what you have on offer. And you're very smart. You know, you've done a lot of things in your life. You're very talented, you know, in a lot of aspects of your life, for sure. And people respect that. So perhaps this new endeavor that you're being offered is because of the knowledge that you have. So maybe they're asking you to take somebody under your wing so that, you know, when it comes time that you decide to retire or just go to a different place that you know you've taught others very well and the three of cups so there you are having a good celebration enjoying yourself you're moving forward you know you're just having a good time now this could be uh an invitation that you're giving out to others or this could be an invitation that you know it's coming towards you it's some sort of celebration this could be you know, an anniversary, a reunion, a get-together, a birthday, you know, some sort of landmark something. This could even be um, a wedding invitation for some of you, but it's a party nonetheless, and you're going to it, and you're going to be quite happy that you did, because, you know, it's going to be, you're going to see old friends and people that you haven't seen in a while, and, you know, you all just get along really well. You're quite enjoying yourself. And the Six of Cups, so a little bit of nostalgia, perhaps at this party. Maybe you've ran into somebody and they said something and it brought back a flood of memories. You know, still good times, but a flood of memories nonetheless. That sort of thing. Ah, and the Strength card. So, there you are. You know, this is some sort of financial win. This could be a you know, a pay raise, the timing's right, you're in the right place at the right time, you know, you're just being noticed for good things that you do, you've learned to curb, you know, your impulses as time's gone on, you control yourself better, you avoid people, places, and things that make you unhappy, and, you know, if you're in a situation where you're uncomfortable, you just walk away. You don't just sit there anymore. You know, it's not that you have to or you had to in the past. It's just now that you're a little wiser. So that's good. And the Queen of Pentacles. So you've made some really good investments, you know, for yourself in life. You're a hard worker. You're independent. You know, you, you, when you go shopping or do, try to do things, you try to get the best deals for your money and maybe you're passing this knowledge on to others or maybe you're starting yourself a new business and you know how to go about it because you've been doing it for a long time. Maybe you're starting to get your own independence here. 
and the five of rods. So maybe there was a little bit of competition or perhaps you thought there was or somebody made you feel that way and you're realizing that, no, you outshine all the rest. You know, you're taking the necessary steps in life to make yourself comfortable. You're successful enough in all the activities and the, you know, what you do in life. So you realize that you have more than most and you're moving forward. You know, you don't, there's no real competition there. And the seven of rods. So definitely things are starting to, you know, grow for you. You're starting to anticipate a little bit more. You still have to, you know, sometimes put people in their places because they don't get to tell you what your choices are right or wrong. You know, you've stood your ground, you've, you know, you're okay with your choices. So good on you. You're not allowing anybody to take your power away. So that's in itself, a, you know, a big decision and step for yourself. It's a necessity one sometimes, you know, it's not an easy, but it's a necessity. Sometimes people think they have the right to say or do things and you're just going, uh-uh, that's enough. Back away. I've gotten this far in life and I'll continue on. And the king of rods. So definitely, definitely some sort of successful venture for yourself. You're motivated to take that, that chance and that you're, you're just going to put one foot in front of the other this week. You're going to, you know, if you have a plan to make a trip in the future, you're going to make sure that it's the best trip you've taken. You're going to, you know, go see different places. You're going to have new experiences because you want it to be memorable. And it will be for sure. You know, you're in touch with your, your own feelings this week on what your uh, future has and what you're presenting to the world. So good for you. And the Seven of Cups. So there you are. You have some really good ideas this week. Right, lots of them, and they're all tangible, they're accessible, they're doable. And now you're trying to figure out which one do I really want to do because they all give you something in return of tangible goods, you know, whether it's a new relationship or money coming in or new home or that sort of thing. So now you're trying to make the best direction for yourself to make sure that these decisions that you're making. You know, there is proper steps in order to take it so that you don't have to go backwards in anything. And the Knight of Wands. So there you are, you know. Definitely thinking of a vacation in the future. Weather's starting to warm up, that sort of thing. Maybe you're thinking of taking a... If you're one of those, you know, you have a motorcycle. Maybe you're thinking of taking a trip somewhere by that or an SUV or even a train ride sometimes. I've been on trains myself. I quite like them. You just, you know, you can get up and you can move around and get yourself something to eat. And, you know, they even got sleeping booths in some of them. So, which is quite nice. Takes out all the worries about, you know, driving all night if that's what you're thinking of doing, you know, and you're... And if you're thinking of doing anything that's, you know, off the beaten path, you're also telling yourself that, you know, I won't do anything impulsive. And before I decide to do anything, I will, you know, take that three minute step back, think about what I'm doing, and then consider it to be a yes or a no. So you're, you're curbing that part of yourself as well. You're learning to think before you act. Ooh, and the Six of Swords. So you might even be thinking of moving to a totally new area for yourself. Maybe you're just not happy where you are or getting the respect that you deserve. And, you know, you're thinking of moving on to better calmer shores. This may even be in a job situation for some of you. Maybe you're, you know, any ideas that you've had or brought to the table have always been shot down. You know, you're not getting the pay raises. You're not getting the respect where you're at. So you're tired of, you know, going against the current. So you decided that, you know what? They're offering me better over there anyhow. Why am I staying here putting up with this? And you pack your bags and off you go to a better place 
that you're more happy with. So that's beautiful to see for you. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card. But your cards are very positive. You know, they're you're going to have success in the end of what you're dreaming of, which is beautiful. You know, you've been trying to figure out which way you want to go for a while now. All right. <laughs> Spend time alone in nature. Meditating about the desires and intuitions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. Well, there you go. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. And I will talk to you again next week. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.